Hey, this is Ryan from D3 Technologies. In this video, I'm going to talk about Fusion 360, some tips for using the fillet tool. So I'll be working with this little model here, and I've got a lot of little finishing fillets to add to this thing. Um, my number one tip, first of all, use the keyboard shortcut. F is the easiest way to access this tool. Of course, you can always, if you find it, you can add it to your main toolbar by clicking the little curve arrow, or you can add it to your toolbox like I have. Uh, but the F key will allow you to do it pretty quickly if you're a fan of keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so that's kind of a bonus tip. My real first tip is pick the edges and then give it a size. You'll notice that when you immediately pick an edge, it asks you for the size. You could type or drag the arrow, but then to add any additional edges, you'll have to hold down the control key. If you don't, you might pick something which is actually measuring that object for the size of the fillet. That's not what I wanted to do. To add additional edges, you can hold down the control key and Fusion will then allow you to pick additional edges to add to your selection set for the fillet. But by picking all the edges first, not only do you have less keyboard keys to mess with, but you get a better idea of what's going to happen to your model uh, when all of those edges are tried to fill it at once. Okay, second tip use the window select. So if I need to pick all of these inside edges, I could go ahead and pick each of them individually and then add a nice little fillet. But I could just easily go to the side here and do a crossing window and pick the exact same four edges. Now it worked in this case because I crossed a lot of other faces but no other hard edges and so I was able to pick all of those. This also leads me to my third tip. My third tip, be smart about the order in which you fillet edges. If I needed to add a larger fillet to all of these outside edges, it's much easier to do if the inside edges are already rounded. Because I'm using the tangent chain option, I only need to select one of those faces and the whole loop is selected. I could have created the smaller fillets afterwards, but it would have resulted in a lot more picking needed. And one last final tip, use window select. Okay, so maybe you've already heard that one before, but I find myself in a lot of situations where I could have saved a ton of time if I would have just thought about using that window select, and it's not something that I'm used to using all the time. So hopefully those tips help you out. Pick the edges and then the size. Use the control key if you need to to add afterwards. Window select when creating fillets and be smart about the order in which you pick your edges to fillet. Hope that helped out. And as always, if you need any more information or have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team. Thanks.